the last video we have learned about uh, types of light. Yes or no? Mean there were two different types of light, natural and artificial. Then we have learned the concept of luminous and non-luminous. And also we have discussed about the transmission of a light. There are the three types of material. Can you recall that? Transparent, translucent and opaque. I hope that everyone has removed the notes on the it and gone through the notes. Okay. In today's video, I hope you will like the video because today um, the, uh, the, there is a little part of a teaching and we are going to perform the activity. So what is that that we will see? In the light, we are going to discuss one more point that light travels in a straight line. Can you just tell me what is meant by the light travels in a straight line? Now if you will see the sunlight, it moves directly to the earth. Am I right? It travels in a straight line. So that phenomena is called as a rectilinear propagation of a light. That phenomena is called as a rectilinear propagation of light. See, now I am telling that light always travel in a straight line. Can you just tell me? Can you just guess, madam? Can you can you determine or can you uh, can you just uh, prove that why the light always travels in a straight line? Yes, we will prove with the activity that light always travels in a straight line, and that phenomenon is called as a rectilinear propagation of light. So we will do one activity. Now we will do the first activity. I will hold the tube in the in front of the candle and you can see the you can observe the whether you can see the light or not okay let's go to the activity another activity we are going to do that light travels in a straight line that i'm going to show uh, show the activity now see this is a rod this is one rod okay this is a rod and this is a candle okay we will need a two types of instrument here one straight rod and this is a rubber tube okay now and we will need a candle to see the flame now see this rod is straight okay now we will see whether you can see the flame or not okay Can you see the flame? Yes. Can you see the flame? Now I will this this the flame for this is a straight path. Okay. Now I will take this rubber tube. Are you able to see the flame properly? No, because this rubber rubber uh, rubber tube is little bit bent somewhere. So we are not able to see. Okay, students. Now we will move to the activity. Now the what things we are needed? Now see. I have arranged the three CDs, one back back to back, and this is a candle. And there you can see there is one hole between these two CD. If you will see properly in the CD, there is a hole. Yes or no? Can you see? See so this is a hole, and I have arranged in a straight line. Okay. Now we will see whether you can see the flame or not. Now see, can you see the flame? of the light yes yes now see what i will do i will shift one of the i'll move the wave now are you able to see the flame of the light no i have i have not arranged the cd in a proper way now whether the light the light cannot pass properly through the cd it cannot take any diversion it only travels in a straight line now say again i will arrange now this cd in a proper way now are you able to see the flame yes yes or no can you see the flame yes see so in by by this conclusion you can say that light always travels in a straight line And I have proved that light always travels in a straight line, and that phenomena is called as a rectilinear propagation of light. So today's work will be that you have to 
whatever the experiment I have shown, just recall it and just write in your physics notebook. This will be your homework. Okay. Thank you.